What's going on everybody? This is Rick again with Let's Level Up and today we're actually uh, bringing you some Marvel Heroes footage. Um, this is an upcoming MMO that's still in beta. Um, it's an action uh, RPG so it plays a lot like Diablo uh, but in the Marvel Universe and rather than creating a character um, you actually play as one of the known heroes of the Marvel Universe and uh, any of the Marvel uh, fans out there will recognize that I am Rocket, Rocket Raccoon, who is a uh, space raccoon as part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. He's very agile, very brave, and a tactical genius in battle. So um, he is uh, a very fun fan favorite character in the Marvel Universe. So we'll play through him a bit and actually go through and uh, show you a little bit about the game. Um, as far as the crafting system and, and things like that go. So this is going to be just an overview video, and I really I hope you guys like what you see. So Marvel Heroes is a uh, action RPG, and you actually gain experience points and level as you go through with your characters. You can see right now my Rocket Raccoon is a level 10. Um, you can see a stats tab here on my character screen. Let's see you know some of my... Uh, physical numbers basically behind my character my defense and offensive capabilities as well as utility uh, capabilities as far as health regeneration item drop chance and whatnot um, one of the things that other superhero MMOs have had is a very poor um, a very poor item mechanics or very poor equipment mechanic um, that I think uh, Marvel Heroes actually does a great job on. Since this is an action RPG, um, I can put whatever costume on I want. There's actually a slot for what costume. So I have the uh, uh, Marvel Now costume for Rocket Raccoon, which is in his base skin. Um, you can also have a matter of different items that you get to fill into positions, um, such as artifact slots here, um, metal slot. Uh, Rocket Raccoon has a BFG slot, as well as pants, belt, chest, and uh, pistol. As I'm going through the game, I can actually uh, pick up items for other heroes, toss it in my stash box, or potentially trade them to other heroes for credits or whatnot. Um, there's also a quick bio here that you can read about, the different characters. Um, when you launch the game, you're actually chosen... Uh, I haven't actually mentioned this yet. This is a free-to-play game when it comes out, and I believe it's coming out June 4th. be its official release date to everybody. Um, they're going to have an upcoming open beta weekend pretty soon. Um, and then it's just a couple, uh, a few weeks away from actually um, getting it uh, a wide release. Uh, you can go to marvelheroes.com and buy a kit uh, or a character um, that you can actually go through and uh, basically pre-unlock before the game comes out. For instance, I've purchased the hunter, uh, sorry, the Punisher starter pack. Hey, you're just a Beta Ray Bill knockoff. <laughs> It's one of my favorite things about the game right there is that my character or your characters that you're playing will interact with the other characters. So, you know, so he called Thor a Beta Ray Bill knockoff, which is um, pretty funny. Um, you can see we have a Daredevil here, a Thor. Ant-Man is an actual crafting trainer, uh, trainer and so is Wonder Woman. Um, before we get into crafting, we'll get into just a quick leveling uh, system. And they talk about how powers work. So again, this is a free-to-play game, and whenever you launch the game, you'll actually have the ability to choose between five heroes. Uh, right now, that's the Thing, Scarlet Witch, Hawkeye, Daredevil, um, and there's one more. I think Storm is one of the other base heroes. Let's see, Storm, yeah, I think Storm's the other base hero that you can get in the game. This is the list of heroes that they have out. Um, one of the things that Gazillion has promised is uh, to never stop uploading heroes for you to be able to play as. Um, so they have something like 3,000 or some odd characters that you can potentially be um, as this game progresses. So that's going to be very cool. Um, the currency is uh, in a matter of G. Um, you can actually trade cash for G and then unlock these heroes. Um, so if I wanted to get Colossus, for instance, it would cost me 900 and I still have 1100 G left over. Um, if I wanted to get, get Deadpool, uh, that's you know, he's going to be 2000 because he's kind of a fan favorite. Right now they're tweaking some of these uh, characters around so to encourage people to play as the other hero types. 
uh, Miss Marvel at 900 is this a steal. So as you gain levels, you actually get points into three different uh, trees that you'll be able to enhance your characters on. This is a way for you to focus your uh, your Rocket Raccoon, maybe different than my Rocket Raccoon, uh, both based on the gear and then how we spec it. I may spec my Rocket Raccoon to be more of a just damage dealer, while you may do more utility or even have um, some additional uh, pet type mechanics like with the blasters and whatnot. Um, but this is a very cool way for you to enhance and get to know the Marvel characters a little bit deeper. Um, where we are right now is actually going to be in the Avengers Mansion or in Stark Tower, um, as is this universe's uh, take on it. Um, so if we get I've into made a lot of progress system, lately. Oh, Hank Pym. Right now, Hank's at a rake one crafting. I can actually donate items that I have to him. Um, and then he can craft things. So uh, if I wanted to create a primitive element, I would need to get uh, three identical, identical simple elements, which are these here. Um, I have a simple nanotech filament and a simple alpha particle. So let's go and check my bank really quick. This is the uh, stash. And I've got some simple molecules. So let me get a few of these. Alpha particles, we'll get a few of those. Simple nanotech filament, a few of those. Some gamma rays. You can see here I have a bodysuit of knowledge for the Punisher, my original rocket coon, or raccoon um, costume. And then I have different medals I've gotten from defeating some of the various villains. And these medals will allow me to um, equip onto my uh, medal slot. It gives me a bonus. For instance, I just have the hood metal, and that metal allows. Let me pull that back up. Six percent movement speed increase and a four percent chance to increase dodge by thirty percent um, for three seconds if I take any damage, uh, which is nice. Rocket Raccoon also has an ability that allows me to uh, increase. Uh, yes, my I have rating. been spending a lot of time in the lab. Uh, why do you ask? So when it comes to crafting, yeah, for instance, if I want to craft a primitive element so that I could use uh, to turn a simple element into a primitive one, I take three of the similar elements and I hit create. I think the tail really makes this work. And now I have two of the primitive unstable molecules. So let me just go through here and let's create a few more of these. One thing I'm sure they're going to change um, is to make these stackable. Does it also come in Groot size? A little shout out for Groot. Um, if you guys don't know much about the Guardians right now, I'm sure you You will. talk too much. That's coming from me. <laughs> it's almost like he's talking to me. Um, I think the tail really makes this work. You're going to be able to get a lot of... Uh, knowledge about Rocket, uh, Star-Lord, maybe even Groot, uh, when it comes to the movie that's going to be out here in a couple of years, uh, The Guardians of the Galaxy. Does it also come in Groot size? Okay, I've got one more simple that I can do. I think the tail really makes this work. Okay, so now that I've upgraded all of those, I can actually create just a couple flasks of might. Or some medics. Uh, so let's do a flask of might with two, any two simple elements. And you know what? I don't know if I have two simples. There we go. Simple gamma rays. And we'll create a flask. Does of it also come in Groot size? So this gives us 10% damage, which is going to be nice. So as I level up Hank Pym by dropping and giving him um, these uh, different uh, donations. Um, he'll actually get experience here. I think they actually needs to be items. Let me go grab a couple items real quick. Let me test that out. Let me grab this um, 26 defense belt for Colossus. Yeah, I'll grab a couple of these rockets that I'm not using. 
There was a while I was the only rocket I could see on the server. You can get a lot done just... when you're not worrying about fighting supervillains. I saw another one just a while ago. See, it's there. There we go. As I dropped that in there, I got 126 more experience. Um, and that only gave me 12, so um, it must vary uh, via the item or the item level. Okay, so that's kind of a basic rundown of the character creation. And uh, like I said, this is a free to play game, and you'll have uh, heroes to choose from. However, if you wanted to get G, um, or if you buy one of the starter packs, you can actually buy that. Um, you'll be able to do and increase that. One of the coolest things, uh, sorry, increase your G so that you can spend on money. Uh, one, so that you can actually spend it on um, different characters, different costumes, power-ups, that those types of things. So one of the great things about this game is I can actually go through and switch my characters at any time. So if I've got buddies that are playing the game and I'm a higher level than them, I can switch down to a lower level character that I may have unlocked already. Um, one thing that Kazoon has also promised is that every character, every costume in the game is potentially unlocked just by playing the game. Um, I hear you need a lift. There are going to be different uh, avenues for power-ups and different avenues for uh, drops, rather, um, by defending world bosses or um, key storyline bosses uh, that will get drops. I've actually seen Iron Man drop um, before the last wipe, and I picked that up uh, when I was fighting Dr. Octavius. All right, so we're here in Madripoor, and uh, we are looking to take out some of these Hydra guys. This is an armor. Seriously, it's a little harder to take out, and I'm gonna need to. Let the sound for a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we've actually got a. We've actually got a world quest here that we're going to Getting out of things like rays and things like that. There's a lot of characters that have to be super easy. It's really easy. It's really easy. It's really easy. Some of the gear I have is from the previous chapters. It's not quite that strong.
before that I actually played the team. being said, since this is a persistent, or sorry, not necessarily a persistent world, um, but this is a persistent way to get uh, players into uh, playing in the same zone, the monster respawn times are really heavy, and you can actually run into a bit of trouble there um, if you watch Lockway from your computer, uh, whereas Diablo, once you clear out of a space, as long as you have that map still up, um, you're going to be okay, but if you don't have that map up any longer, um, you could run into a lot of trouble um, because it's because essentially unexplored at that point. Uh, in Marvel, so can you, you have to worry with about those headwings? the heroes. Oh, look, a few different rockets right here. You have to worry about the villains actually respawning at a rate that's going to be uncontrollable. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to actually put some more. Uh, uh, maybe not two. I'm gonna put one more rank in my uh, shrewd dude, which increases my dodge. And I'm gonna put another rank in my energy barrage, which is gonna make my uh, BFG cannon do a little bit more damage. And I think to actually close this out, what I'm gonna do is we'll go ahead and go through and we'll buy a character really quick, and then we'll play as them. So since I'm already going to get some time with the Punisher when the game comes out officially, I'm not going to buy him, um, but I'll go to one of my next favorite characters in the Marvel Universe, and that's going to be the Hulk. Alright, so we're buying the Hulk. Okay, we own the Hulk now. Let's see if we can get a costume for him. Okay, Avengers movie, 1450. Wow, that costs more than the Hulk did. 1100 for Grey Hulk, Hulk Mr. Fix It, and Planet Hulk 1150. Oh, that Planet Hulk costume looks awesome. Okay, I actually have enough for another hero. Anybody cost just 800 straight up? Doesn't look like it. Um, hmm. We can go ahead and get Scarlet Witch. And that leaves us with 200. So let's go ahead and switch over to Hulk. And what we'll do is we'll actually use our waypoint to head back to Chapter 1 and replay through some of Chapter 1. This allows us to go through and uh, level up the Hulk, and you can see a little bit of what um, I have already played in the Marvel Heroes and what you'll be playing uh, on that first level. Um, so the game essentially starts out with a prison break. Uh, the raft is a way for us to store uh, you will soon villains. See stupid green men. Oh wow, this Hulk is very strong. <laughs> what is his other ability? Smash ground. He must wear this heavy armor then. So two defense. Need a 
he's just eating down these hydra foot soldiers. Oh, very, very lethal Hulk is. Uh, a couple complaints about this game and some feedback that I've actually posted to the guys at um, I don't really see a way to scale the difficulty. Um, so hopefully there'll be instances of some type that you can actually go through and turn on to a hardcore mode or heroic mode like we used to in World War II. Uh, you know, for better loot and also for uh, just uh, with this game definitely excels in is its ability to immerse yourself in the Marvel Universe and at very, very low start We've got some magic heavy armor here. Okay, we get 10 health generation every minute. So that'll help us heal up. A lot of times in these different, uh, you know, this instanced uh, zones that we're in, we'll have different events like this, like this lift control, where essentially Hydra goons are going to try to muscle their way on uh, to this lift. And I know, right now I'm thinking, well, if I were the Hulk, I would just literally jump down this hole. And if I were the Hulk, I don't think any Hydra character would ever try to take me one on one. Searching <laughs> some block alpha. So the security systems are off right now, and our first mission is to get those back online. Get a lot of the same drop. I don't know if that's a bug right now. I don't think I've ever seen that. Ground smash at rank 4 in one defense. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Now our ground smash should be significantly better. Oh, and it looks like it is. Look at that. Just <laughs> destroys them in one hit. Getting a smoldering rage item enhancement. Oh, no, it's an actual little carrot. Oh, so it's a rage slot. So we put a smoldering rage in there. And now we have 4 damage increased. Um, we also have that item we created with Hank Pym earlier. Ah! Get off! I got what for a second. Okay, living lasers here, so we get to see a little mini boss fight with a living laser. A second. Stop them! Well, I'm no longer playing with one hit with that, it's a little disappointing. Some experience orbs that are helping out that shield. here for a second and just look see what we may have missed out on back here it's been a while since I've done the raft so sorry about that you have to forgive me uh, the controls yeah I thought we were missing out on something starting to hurt Ooh, magic rage Unbound Rampage, Unbridled Rampage, rather. I'm not going back in that cell. There's a laser. When I was the Hulk, or when I was the king with the laser, I had upgraded. 
Think's defense seems to be just. Hopefully, the jump rate looks a little bit higher than the things. Blacking out. There we go. That was. Maybe I won't smash this. That's how the whole candles the living laser. Let's see, plus four to spirit, chance on burst a laser with any basic power. Might as well go ahead and equip that. Watching this? Oh, that's uh, something that's actually pretty cool in this game is you can pick up these objects, and depending on what character you are, you can pick up bigger objects and actually use those objects in combat. So you, while you're in the house kitchen, looking around for different. Um, uh, blocks and garbage bins and whatnot that you can pick up and smash enemies with. has been released. See you in Jersey, Brock. Okay, we're getting close to finishing the raft. Okay, here's the boss of the raft. Goblins, you got to stay out of the fucking bombs explosions. Let you defeat me. They can actually really hurt you, and he'll actually do a beeline. Like bombs as he's coming in, like that right there. There we go. We got some blue. We got a set of blue shoulder pads. Knight health regen, grants unbridled rank, your age of rate 4, and 4 defense. Not to mention, we've upgraded, so now we can put ranks. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a rank of that if we can. So guys, this is a first look at uh, Marvel Heroes. Um, I hope you guys like what you see. I'll do probably a few more of these before everything's said and done, and definitely some, maybe some playthrough videos whenever we're actually the game goes live. But uh, the NDA was just officially dropped, um, so I can actually post stuff like this now about this game. Um, hope you like what you see. I think Kazine has done a great job with it. Um, I don't think I played it enough to actually give it a good review. Um, but you saw a nice overview of the different systems of the game, which crafting, the uh, uh, the uh, store uh, mechanics, and then actually leveling on some of the other uh, multiplayer worlds, as well as an instance like the raft here. Um, so, hope you like it, and as always, game on.